What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. This will be a follow-up basically to my previous video that I did. One of the last Sydney videos I did talking about Richie's family's alleged plans for Sydney Prescott uh, and how they plan to basically leave New York, track her down to her home in Seattle, kill her kids, kill her husband, and then kill her after making her watch. Now, I have been given some evidence in regards to the bits of dialogue that kind of back up those claims that I was telling, saying in that video. And I actually did allude to the fact that evidence would be coming out rather soon or later. Now, I will add this. The source of my information is Mr. Nate Reagan or Ragone, however you pronounce your last name. I'm sorry. But I do want to also make this clear. Nate is not who told me about the bits of this script. In fact, Nate watched my previous video, read the script that they had, and even commented or messaged me saying, hey, great video. So shout out to you for sending me a message and then provided me the images of the script that they were able to get, get from someone involved with the production. So in these drafts, these draft images that you'll have coming across your screen, if you want to pause it and read it, I get that. And then listen to me bitch and moan do what you want but i'm going to just recap as i have the images coming across your screen so at this stage in the finale sydney prescott of course is not present again the alleged inclusion of sydney would have involved her showing up in new york because she wanted to help then for whatever reason she ended up leaving before the finale even took place but according to these pages the bits of dialogue about what they had planned for sydney are very real because it started off at the same moment where Bailey's basically re, re, reassessing his own contributions to his son's demise. Did he overindulge Richie's obsession with Stab? Sure. Then he's going on about, has he been a perfect father? No. Uh, he goes on about how Richie was a very passionate fan. You know, the whole monologue he gives about his guilt slightly about Richie's demise, but still blaming it all on Sam. And then Sam proceeds to ask, so after this, what you plan to just disappear? Bailey in the film says, no, we have to go to the hospital to make sure Mindy and Gail don't pull through. But in this script, he says this. No, then we have to go to the hospital to make sure Mindy and Gail don't pull through. Then we're going to fly to Seattle and pay Sydney a visit. Carve her little carve her little girls up in front of her. Because everyone dies, Sam. Everyone who had anything to do with the death of my son suffers and dies. And then Quinn, of course, chimes in. Fuck yeah, they do. Now, again, guys, you can keep reading these, these images if you want to and pause it if you don't want to listen to me bitch and moan. But keep playing it after, after you're done. But that is some sick shit. Go, wanting to kill Sidney Prescott's kids... And then take her out. I'm assuming the husband had to be included in this. Mark would have been on the chopping block as well. They were going to knock off the kids, knock off Mark, and then knock her ass off. That's some pretty sick stuff. Sydney doesn't deserve that. Now, of course, these plans are, are reasonable because they're the killers. But that's just some very dark and twisted stuff to kind of imagine her going through because she's worked so hard to attain this peace, have the life that her mother had stolen from her. She has kids, two little girls that have the relationship and the bond that she and Roman could have had. And then that's all going to be taken away from her by yet another sick individual who just can't get the idea into their mind that they are like this because they need help. It's not that anyone else is the problem you're the problem my guy but that's some very sick stuff that's some dark and twisted twisted plans from the baileys now aside from that here's the problem sydney still had no business being in this movie and what i mean by that is she allegedly again simply just showed up in new york would have wanted to help but then ultimately for whatever reason ended up leaving before the finale According to this draft, because I'm certain there's plethora of other drafts that exist. I'm actually going to leave a link to Nate's video that he dropped down in the comment section below. This is the legit script. This is the script that is from the production. One of many drafts. These are exclusive images, PDF copies of pages from the draft. This will be uploaded online soon. But I will add this. Just because... This is coming from someone who is not attached to the production. Again, it does not mean that it's not real. These are literally from the production. I know that because I also know other things about this draft that rely on another source of mine that I wholeheartedly trust, who I know is in contact with people involved with these films. So 
in terms of this draft and if you still want to doubt it and doubt Sydney's inclusion go nuts but this is the evidence that I was talking about the evidence has arrived online these are the exclusive script pages to back it up these idiots wanted to show up take out Sydney's kids take out her husband making her watch and then they were going to take her ass out but again Sydney's entire inclusion is unnecessary there is no reason for her to show up because she wants to help and then she just dips out for whatever reason because I'm assuming Ghostface threatened her family and then was still going to go after her anyway track her down to Seattle and take them all out just completely unnecessary fan service give Sydney something to do if she doesn't have anything to do you don't have to force her into the narrative I get that we want to see Nev Campbell back in the role I get that I understand it but you have to start valuing how she is written Nev Campbell seems to value it a lot more than some of the fans that I come across it's just the God honest truth some people simply do not care they will take a Sydney Prescott appearance in any way shape or form she could show up in a pink tutu and do tricks on a cartwheel and they will eat it up and say job well done well I'm not going to do that she needs to have something to do she does not need to just simply show up just because you think hey we need to have Sydney in the movie no if there's nothing for her to do let her rest this whole inclusion of Sydney honestly for my Buffy fans out there if you remember the first episode of season four where they had just slain the college vampires that were giving Buffy a hard time Sunday and her crew uh, I think her name was Sunday they were Sunday and her crew they had just finished slaying those vampires they got Buffy's stuff back they were walking back to Buffy's dorm here comes Giles talking about where's the evil the evil where is it where do we need to go to slay it they've already done it bruh they don't need you that's how Sydney feels she's showing up to do things when they don't need her they have Detective Bailey I grant it, yes he's the killer but we have plenty of capable capable people involved that don't need to lead to Sydney Prescott showing up just because hey Ghostface is back I'm Captain save -a we don't need that for her let her have her peace if you are not going to come up with something substantial for her to do let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts I'm on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews I'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video